Oh, good evening. <clears throat> good evening. If it's evening, if you call it evening, almost five o'clock. Um, I thought I would show up. Uh, I couldn't wait to do this. I had to do this. So I'd show up and make how I do this. Um, the uh, custom pins, some custom pins in uh, in some of the locks I've done. Uh, I don't do, choose a certain pattern. I just just do it. Do what I think for what I think, I guess you could say. Anyway, I thought I'd go with, uh, I would, um, go with, um, with this here, the Schlage. And, uh, I'm gonna choose the, uh, number nine, which is the, which is 300. So I'm gonna pick a 300 and out of here. And it's way over here. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna work with that, do that one first. I'm gonna do that one. And then I thought I would go with that uh, number, um, I'll go with number four, which is 225. I'll do that, I'll do a 225 as well. And then I'll do a number seven, which is a, a 270. And that's right over here. And I'll do two more pins. Uh, I'll do um, I'll do a two at the one ninety five. I believe that one is. Well, I'm actually getting low on that one, but I'll do one anyway. And then I'll do, uh, I'll do a, I guess, number five. That's a 240. And find a 240. Well, that's, uh, actually lower. That's actually, I got not very many of them left. Um, see, I'll go with, the. Uh, Number three to two ten. That's another small one. So go with the go with that. These are the ones I chose. Numbers I chose. And I'm gonna now uh, close up my uh, close up the uh, case so I can set my phone up against it, so you can see. I gotta snap my. Uh, belt holder onto the phone so I can uh, use it like a tripod as well oops wrong, what, wrong side hopefully uh stuff out for this. Got the hacksaw blades here. I got, got a file. Got a, and a file. And this file. I use a half round file. And I use a square file too. To smooth out for, as well. And then I get my stuff here set up as well I got tools here as well and I got that pocket knife out that I have somewhere I use uh, use uh, this thing that pocket knife right there okay alright I take this off and I get the wrenches Need for this. I'll do the uh, do the big one first, the biggest one. Then I'll do a small. I'll do a small one next. Put it in there. Take it down. Put this back on to keep my fingers protected. I'll turn this on. I'm gonna do it with a small hacksaw.
recommend eye protection though. First one. I don't know if you can see it. My machine obviously does not. I just not have put it in the machine straight on because it's all wobbly looking, but it still looks fairly decent. This thing here, though, these pins uh, tend to st get stuck like this. All I have to do is just tap on it after I loosen it, and then it'll fall right out like that. When I'm done out with all these, I will show you a close picture uh, or video. I'll I'll zoom it. I'll uh, show them up close. All right, and then uh, so you can see them better. All right, I've got the smallest pin, one of the small pin, the smallest of the pin, smallest pins. And yeah, isn't that crooked? Now I'm gonna do something a little different with this one. And uh, do something different than I do with all of them. I'm gonna use something different than this one. I'm going to use uh, power cable. Rated 
type of bit, that type of uh, pin. Lost. Trying to find the pins on this floor is a trick and a half. But I uh, don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna I guess I'll zoom up on them when I get them uh, all done. I'm gonna do this other this uh, this um large one now. I'm gonna do something tall, uh, something even more different with it. If it cooperates. Do something with the file, with the, with the uh, hacksaw, the big hacksaw, and the square file. things doing it crooked did it crooked on the last lock too had to figure out what to, to do with that there's that if you can see it I'll show them all at the end as to what I'm doing with them there's another small one I'm gonna show well I'm gonna use the actually I'm gonna use this this a uh, little bit larger one to show that uh, I do with that tape uh, cutter to make it uh, serrated this thing here I use this to make, kind of make it like light serrations Then I 
Let's I mark it with this this way, then I take it and I do this. Let's find the mark. Quite, it's like a light serration, lightly serrated, not heavy, deep ones. And the last one is a small, is a small, another small one, which I will just do is like a. Like a T pin. Do more like a T pin with the with the um with what do I wanna use? Um what else do I use? Um I use the uh the big hacksaw blade. Make it into like a T pin. And using the five two. A regular file. Sometimes these things get stuck in there and pull the whole thing apart to get it out. And they fall 
on uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it with my fingers, but I'm going to show you every pin that I just did. And uh, just one second here. Put this stuff up and then some of this stuff up. Just like have room. And. Okay, is this thing still rolling? I'm gonna pull it off here. Okay. okay. And here's up close of all the pins. There's the first one, there's the second one, the third one, fourth one, and this last one. And it took me under 20, about 20 minutes to uh, do all of them. They're all first leg, first leg lock. I do not have one to put them in, but if I did, I would put them in there, and then I would, I have a plug for one, but I don't have the, I don't have a, uh, a, uh, body, a uh, cylinder for it, I do believe. I can remember which one it is. I did have it already fixed up where I where the where the I uh I believe this is it here. It's got uh I have uh, threaded on onto the thing, and I believe two of the, uh, I believe this one and this one are undercut. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's just maybe just the two things are threaded. When I uh, put them in there for threaded locks, I like to use the the uh, the um pins I use, I make that look like that look like this one here that are serrated for undercutted undercutting locks I like to do something like this one here I would put in a thread a uh, threaded one And I do undercut, undercuts, I usually put one like this, with the big, with this top here, depending on this, where, how long the pin is in the lock, it'll depend on how thick I make this top part, and then uh, be skinny like that. And then, T-pins I usually make don't usually get that thin, I usually don't make them that thin, but that one there got pretty thin. But that's what I do when I make uh, pins for locks. I don't follow a specific pattern. I, I don't think any of my pins are like two, any two are the same in any, in any lock, but uh, like same, I guess they would be uh, similar patterns, but I try to keep it a little different some on some of them. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I gotta go back and change my shirt. I had actually uh, was excited to do this one video. I thought I would do it a couple of days or next week from from now, but I I wanted to do it and. and um, wanted to uh do it uh right away and i uh decided that i'd do it today i threw on a dirty shirt 
to uh, do this because the brass dust gets everywhere from the pins. I might just uh, make up a key if I remember the numbers on these. But I don't know. I might just leave the pins like that and wait till I get another lock and uh, put one or two in there. But that's uh, that's uh, how I made some how I make the pins. Thank you again. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.